So I'm going to show you how to take this thing completely apart. And um, I warn you, if you do this to yours, you most likely won't be able to get it back together because there are some complex um, connections inside here. The first thing is you have to get this faceplate off. The faceplate is just stuck on with adhesive. So nothing more than a screwdriver is required. Okay. Just tell me if you can't see. Haha. <laughs> so as I lift off, you can see it just starts to unpeel. And just get under there a little. There we go. And it's just sticky. Next thing we have to do is take off these four screws. And one thing I'll point out real quick is the Lytro comes with probably the most brilliant lens cover ever made. It's magnetic. It's brilliant. So whoever put this, designed this, A+. Plus. So we have to get these four screws off, and they are really, really small. Okay, um, easy thing to do is flip it over, see which ones I got. All right, there's the four bolts. They hold this piece onto this piece. Taking the two halves apart is a snap. It just comes apart. The trick is they're connected with some ribbon cables right here. You can see it kind of clamshells open just like that. And that will be about as far as you can open it without taking apart these little ribbon cables. So this is the actual inside uh, of the two halves. So if you ever plan on putting this back together, these two little ribbon cables are going to give you hell. They are ridiculously difficult to get back into those. So now that the two halves are separated, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the power. Right there, it's dead. If I try and turn it on, nothing happens. Okay, next thing I'm going to show you though is this half. This half, which has the lens assembly in it, just pushes out. Maybe it's that way. Yeah, it pushes this way. metal plate comes right off just rotates out right there and those magnets that hold the lens cover on uh, they're pretty strong they come right off too if you want to use them for something great just dropped it so this assembly is the lens and there's a series of lenses in here take this rubber piece off to give you an idea how small these screws are, this screwdriver is used for taking apart an iPhone. This little part it's kind of cool. It just came out of the lens assembly right there. And it's what changes, I guess, the focal length of the lens. So right now this is a manual Lytro. Haha. <laughs> Let's keep going. This video can be titled, How to Take Apart a Lytro Without the Right Tools. Here's a sensor to give you an idea about how big it is. Um, let's see, here's a, a Sharpie. So it's 
pretty small. I mean, so here we go. If anybody needs one, I just want you to know I have an extra Lytro sensor for sale right here. That looks like an electronic shutter. Gosh, I, I just, all the stuff in this camera is just so crazy. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? So here's what it looks like if you try and look through it. I can slide the lens back and forth. Can't see much again. Okay, this piece looks like another motor right there. Um, and what that drives, I don't know. Probably focus. You can't see, but it's zoom. It's zoom and focus, basically. All right, separating these two halves. You see there's a seam right there. So there it is, the inside. Uh, so the inside has these lenses. This one's really thick. This one, I don't know. And this one obviously slides, or did. Put them all together and you have a Lytro. This one's a tiny magnifying glass. Let's see. So there's the lenses, the drive motors, the electronic shutter, and the sensor. That's pretty much what was inside the housing. Okay, let's move on to the other piece. It's probably going to be really difficult to get this one apart too, simply because it's got super tiny screws and they're really far inside there, but I will try. Okay, so what I just took out that was really difficult <clears throat> was a screw here. A screw there, a screw there, and the beeper right there. There we go. Power, USB shutter release button. So if anybody wants a Lytro motherboard, I'd sell this cheap, maybe 50 bucks. Haha. <laughs> Just kidding. So there's more down below. Let's see if we can get more of it to work too. Here is the cracked glass. Whoopsie. Didn't mean to do that. So this is the screen the ribbon cable. The rest here looks like battery. It's a lot of battery. There's the... I don't know what that one is. Oh, that's the power. Hmm. It looks like the battery pack just slides out of here, kind of. I mean, if these wires weren't in the way. Okay, maybe that was a lot more coercion than I thought. But here's now the battery. So let's, let's see what the battery says. It says do not attempt to open. Panic! It says 3.7 volts, 2100 milliamp hours, 7.77 watt hours lithium ion, lithium ion. Do not recycle, do not do this, do not do that, blah 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 blah. If anybody needs a Lytro battery pack, 10 bucks. Okay, I think I was showing you th these chips. This one says Z-O-R-A-N, 
And this one, I, I don't know what that one says. It says like Z Z Z N N I X or H H Y N I X. Never heard of those. They had a little. I think it was a little piece of like heat sink tape. It's probably poisonous. I don't know. I'm not gonna eat it. Um, but there's some more screws here. I mean, this thing. This has more screws than. Uh, I can't get these out. I'm not gonna take those out because it's just gonna lead into more stabbing myself in the finger. This pretty much does it. Here's all the pieces. Um, it looks like the Lytra was hit by a truck. Um, it was. I am that truck. And we have the viewfinder. We have the electronic shutter. The battery. The cases. The sensor. Screws. That's it. Thanks very much for watching.